A lot of different ways that, that offense can attack the defense. 123 to go here. First period. Turn back in the game as the quarterback hands it off and gets to the 23 yard line. And Tyler the ball here. Jamie Tyler. One thing that's kind of interesting here, here Herm was taken out for a series. Robbie Beck, who had the career high 156 yards last week, really hadn't been in much of the flow, and in fact is not in the game right now as Ellsworth comes on with the tackle that play. Tyler sets up again behind the quarterback Herm on second and seven after he picked up three. It goes right to his teammate, though, and a positive play as picking up the football that time was Hawkins, and Vince Hawkins, a senior from Spring, Texas, says thanks for the nice bounce pass. Well, Kyle Herm gets lucky here. He's going to do a little spin out here. Watch here on the contact. Herm, he gets raked from the backside, does a nice job of pulling the ball out. The defense does, and Vincent Hawkins, hey, got a fumble on the ground. I get lucky, get a good bounce and pop it to me. Avance made yeah, the Avance fumble happen. His defensive end position coming up there, making a good play and break it, bringing the ball out. And then Leonard made the tackle, but Rice gets a first down out of it. And you talk to the Rice folks, and they'll say, that's the kind of year it's been. We've gotten the breaks when we've needed it. Let's see if they can take advantage of this one as they throw on first and ten, and it's incomplete. Intended for Gavin Booth, their leading receiver. Olford was covering in the secondary for the Bulldogs. Well, you have to keep the defense honest. You have to do the play-action pass, throw it out there. Sometimes they're going to make those catches. That would have been a good one if Gavin would have been able to pull it in. And the yardage today, well, La Tech, of course, through the ground. And 183, Rice yet to complete a pass. Now, Rice, they are 10th in the league in passing, but they do throw for 104 yards a game. And much more effective with their throwing, even though they're not throwing it any more than they have in the past. Herm to keep it here on second and 10, and he is smothered. Kyle Herm brought down on the play by Jerome Wallach, junior linebacker, 6'2", 239 pounds out of Farmerville, Louisiana. Well, that's good play by the linebacker, scraping off tackle and getting back in the backfield and making a play on the quarterback. Bobby Gray covered well from the outside as well. And it takes a little while to get used to the pace of the game. We talked about here at the beginning of the show of their scout team doing a good job of preparing them for the option attack they were going to face. They actually took a wide receiver and let him play scout team quarterback. And that ends the first period. The Rice Owls on the short side. It is Louisiana Tech in control with a 10-0 lead after one quarter play here in Ruston, Louisiana. Stay with us going to win the battle of the surge. The offensive line for Louisiana Tech is good size, and they power off. Smith gets up behind the center of Murph. And gets about a yard for the first down. And Louisiana Tech, ninth in the whack in rushing at 93 yards per game, has rushed for two touchdowns and come up with a couple of big third or fourth down situations to keep the ball on the ground and keep possession. This time, nothing doing for John Simon. Maybe a loss on the play of a yard. And it'll be second down and 11 coming up. Brandon Green there again for the Owl defense. Good penetration by Brandon Green from the defensive end position, getting into the backfield. And they're going to do more of that. They're going to have to disrupt this Louisiana Tech offense some way, whether it's through stunts or linebacker blitzes or bringing somebody off the edge. They really haven't gotten to McCown at all or disrupted their running game. Simon and Day go wide left. Two other receivers to the right side for McCown, the quarterback, and the shotgun. You see the red zone offense today. Plenty of time again, man. Open and complete inside the five yard line. DJ Curry, Angler covering on the play, but a super grab by Curry. The sophomore coming in with 27 receptions for over 400 yards. And Curry had a broken collarbone, missed the first two games of the year, but has done a good job coming back, Bill. Good job of getting inside. He breaks in front of Engler, the linebacker, just much more speed than Engler has, and Curry makes a pretty good grab. First and goal to go for the Dogs on the three-yard line. And their bite's been better than the bark so far here today. This crowd is loving it. Complete touchdown, Louisiana Tech. 84, Aaron Caps with the reception. Redshirt freshman out of Mesquite, Texas. 
Had just three catches on the year coming in and gets his first career touchdown. And Louisiana Tech now a 23 to nothing lead. Well, the decision to go for it on fourth down turned out big as the Bulldogs continue on for the score and a good touchdown there to Caps. Just a little pop pass here to the tight end who's coming off the line of scrimmage. And the first TD pass of the day for McCown. Scobie. It's good. So McCown's 16th touchdown pass of the year. The first reception of the year in the end zone for Caps. And La Tech with a 24-0 lead. It's all set up with Curry's big reception over the middle from McCown. That gave him a first and goal. Caps takes it in 24-0. Rice comes in 3-0, 6-1, best start since 1949, but so far looks like La Tech schedule makers did something right this year. They have dominated the Owls here in Ruston. Hatfield. Got out of the first best, flag is thrown to the 20. What a great return by Hatfield, still on his feet, and stopped at the 23 yard line and we'll see where the penalty goes as it's back inside the 20 it's going to be against rice and holding on the return nifty footwork though though by hatfield pretty good job of getting up the field but ken hatfield has to find a way to get his offense on track get his defense to make some plays as we take a look here at young hatfield making his return stop and start make a miss just great individual effort that time by Clint Hatfield. Total yards, all Louisiana Tech. And Rice with the goose egg in the passing game. Bill and Gary Reasons, Kevin Eschenfelder with you here in Ruston, Louisiana. The Joe IA Field and uh, the stadium, rather, as the Bulldogs laying it on the owls so far. Rice, 8.55 to go in the second period, first and 10. Hatfield stays in the game, gets the kill. Nichols makes the tackle on him. He is shy of the 10-yard line. Bill, we talked about the Bulldog defense going from a 3-4 defense, putting a fourth lineman down on the field, on the, on the line. They've done a good job of stopping this offensive attack for Rice. Tom Massell, their defensive coordinator, told me, he said, hey, we had to practice this week and put a scout team together. They actually had the scout team come in on Monday and watch tape of Rice's offense so that they can mirror their performance on the field. And as most coaches and people will know, that it's hard to emulate this offense and the speed of it, but they have got a great job from their scout team this week. Back to pass is Henderson, and it is complete to Booth at the 15-16 yard line as Jason Olford makes the tackle. And it'll be third and short now. Those are the first passing yards of the day. And Booth, the receiver out of Grand Prairie, Texas, came in with nine receptions for 116 yards and a touchdown. Well, this is their first third and short opportunity of the day. The previous ones have been third and 10, third and 11, third and 12. Real tough for that offense to operate from with there, but now's an opportunity for the Owls to convert. You see, one of four so far today. Third and three at the 15. Out of the option, and the fullback back, I believe, or is it Tyler, as Marshall makes the tackle on him. And close. Tyler carrying the football. Jamie, a senior from Austin, Texas. Jamie had been out injured and finally getting back into action. Pretty good one-two punch with him and Beck at the fullback spot for the Owls. Ken Hatfield has to make a decision here. Fourth and short, but you're down 24 points in the first half. Field position or not, probably a chance that he's going to have to go for it here on fourth down. And the Owls show that indication. Let's see if they go ahead. Fourth and less than the yard. Didn't get it. Bulldog ball. Oh, what a stand by Louisiana Tech. Tyler got stuffed by John Nash. 
Well, John Nash in his first start as a collegiate linebacker does a good job from his middle linebacker spot of coming in behind the line of scrimmage and makes a good tackle, stopping him short. Actually a good one yard short of the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Nash from Mangum, Louisiana, making a big play in his college debut. Take a look at the penetration here by Matt Nash, who comes up between the guard and the tackle and gets him back on the fullback on Tyler. Good wrap-up, good hit. And the result is just about the same as a turnover. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. And Louisiana Tech already a 24-zip leader. The play action to McCown looking. Got a man. It is complete. DJ Curry, his fourth TD reception. White and Smith were trying to cover. Coach McNeil, do you get any confidence even though you lost at Auburn? He goes, yeah, because our players thought we should have won the game. Well, they got to be using with it now as Scobie comes on and gets the point after, and they are wrecking rice. 31 to nothing. Curry with the reception from McCown, and he got squeezed but held on. No misprint, folks. Louisiana Tech. Landed on Rice, 31-0, second quarter, and the former walk-on Curry with a 15-yard TD reception. Now Luke McCown throws a strike in there, splits the defenders, and they had this Louisiana Tech Bulldog football team is really, really getting something special going here today. And they'll kick it off here to Hatfield and Crew. If it stays in the park, out of the end zone. And as Rice comes on, anything in particular that Louisiana Tech is doing to exploit maybe a matchup here, Gary? Well, Bill, it's not necessarily a one-person matchup, but sometimes when teams play each other, the personnel matchups overall across the field, it favors one team and not the other. This is the first time that Rice has played Louisiana Tech in a meaningful football game, and uh, it's just finding out the best way to defend them, and they haven't had a, a good chance of stopping them at all today. Roger Henshaw has to go back to the drawing board and get his defensive staff together and find a way to stop that offense, and offensively, Ken Hatfield, hey, they haven't got anything going on that side of the ball either, so a lot of question marks for this right bunch right now. First and 10 from the 20. Anderson hands off and nothing doing for the fullback Beck that time. Robbie, sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia, out of Dunwoody High School. Came in averaging 5.8 for carrying five touchdowns and he has been ineffective today. Ellsworth makes the tackle. Well, the big guys up front for Louisiana Tech, Clint Ellsworth, Jamie Nichols, and Brandon Avance have done a good job holding their own inside, and they put Curtis Randall down, a, a linebacker, put him as a defensive end this week, put four down. And that's been the answer for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Henderson trying to throw it, and he is sacked by a host of Bulldog defenders as you see Henderson. Ellsworth there, 36, is Avance on top of him. Brandon, a junior out of Mesquite, Texas. Well, they're used to rushing the passer, and Rice's offense is more of a run offense, and pass protection is not their, their forte. They, they go against pass protectors all the time in practice, and everyone else in this conference throws the ball quite a bit, if, except for the Rice Owls. Well, Rice had a chance and muffed a field goal early, and it's been all Louisiana Tech since that point. Henderson to keep out of the shotgun. Looking for the first down, not going to make it. Had he just gone straight ahead, I think he had enough momentum to carry him to the first down. He tried to head to the sideline to break it, and Shepard was there, just too much speed. Well, Greg Henderson's a pretty speedy quarterback, but I tell you, he's not going to have enough speed to outrun this Louisiana Tech secondary. You see Shepard here and Gray right here. Watch him run. Let's John Leonard, number 10, going across, but watch the close here. Bobby Gray doing a good job. He can't get in there. That's why he turns to the sideline, Bill, and, and Shepard there from his cornerback spot comes up to stop him short of the first down. And he's taking care of business. Blair's over the PA here. Certainly, Louisiana Tech has lived up to that. And that'll bring Hale on to punt. 
He stands on his own 11. Said that before on a fourth and four. And he kicks it into a pretty good breeze here. They call for the fair catch and do so. And once again, Louisiana Tech with excellent field position as they're going to have it at the 43-yard line. And a